Hey everyone, welcome to React Native Made Easy Tutorials. Uh, today we are doing a tutorial that is a continuation of uh, the tutorial React Native Apps with WordPress. So this is the second part and if you want to, uh, if you are directly coming to this tutorial then you can just uh, uh, click this link and you can check out the previous tutorials so in the previous tutorials we uh, basically uh, learned how we can create endpoints uh, using WordPress REST API and we can use Wor WordPress as a backend for our React Native app so we have already learned that how we can create endpoints and in this uh, tutorial we will see how we can use that endpoint using uh, the new React Native app that is the new version of React Native because in new version of React Native we have a component called Flatlist which is a, a great component because previously the list component that was there it was not that easy to use and it was not that efficient but this flat list component is really efficient and easy to use so we are going to learn uh, both the things that is we are going to learn how to use the endpoints that we have created for uh, uh, using WordPress REST API and how to use the flat list. So let's get going. So the first thing that we need to do is that we need to uh, initialize a React Native uh, project and once the project is initialized we can uh, we have to add few uh, packages to our project so you can see uh, three new packages I have added <coughs> one is react native elements one another one is react native render html and the third one is react native vector icons so this vector icon uh, is basically basically it will be used by react native elements and the react native elements uh, we need because we need few uh, things that will support our list this flat list component we will see how it supports in a later part of the tutorial and this react native render html uh, will be used to render the uh, the data that we will get from the backend so we are going uh, from we are, because we are using wordpress so we will be getting the html uh, form of data so we need this uh, component so that we can render the HTML in a normal way and uh, it doesn't give any error when the HTML is encountered by the flat list component so that's all uh, we need and that's what the purpose is of all these three components so after we install all these components then we need to import it to our project so that we can use it so you can see we have imported uh, two components list and list item so we will see later how we are going to use it and here from react native we are going to use flat list activity indicator and these are the main components that we need so after that we are you can see here uh, we need to initialize we, we need to uh, add a constructor and we need to initialize the state so here we are using uh, the following state variables loading which will uh, set the whether we are loading data from the API or the data is not load uh, getting loaded at the moment so for that we need this variable and this data will hold the data that will be that we will fetch from the WordPress backend this page will specify uh, on which page exactly we are because we are going to add the feature of pagination so we need to we need uh, something that will hold the uh, the current number of page and this refreshing is the state variable that will uh, be toggled when user try to refresh the page and finally this set title will hold the title of the website 
so we will fetch the title of the website as well and <clears throat> after that uh, we need a function that will be the meat of this uh, complete uh, this complete tutorial and <clears throat> this is basically what it's doing is that it is fetching the data so here you can see uh, we are fetching the data and we are uh, initializing the reinitializing the da data state variable and uh, right now the loading is set to false after the data is fetched loading is set to false and refreshing is also set to false okay and then uh, we are using the component component did mount uh, life cycle method this is basically a life cycle method in the act native and we are using it to fetch the the title of the website and also to fetch the data so the method that we have created here or the function that we have created here we are calling here uh, and you can see these are the endpoints that is needed uh, to fetch data this is basically uh, the endpoint used here is basically for fetching posts and the endpoint here is basically for fetching the basic details of the website a WordPress website so this will be these things will be common to all WordPress websites uh, because that is documented in the WordPress REST API documentation and then we need uh, two methods here we have uh, two methods the first one is render header that will render the title of the uh, website and render footer render footer is basically used to show activity indicator so whenever user will uh, reach the end of the page uh, he will write uh, the activity indicator will be activated to show the waiting time uh, while the data is getting fetched from the WordPress website okay so now we have handle refresh so handle refresh will be used uh, when the user try to refresh the page so user when uh, uh, tries to refresh the page this is called and the fetch data method is called and page is set to 1 so everything is uh, like <coughs> without pagination and the page uh, goes to number 1 so we will see this in action uh, and next we have handle load more uh, handle load more so handle load more will be called when uh, user will reach end of the page and when user will reach end of the page we are showing activity indicator while the uh, this handle load tries to load the uh, next part of the data that is the next page so here you can see we have set the page to uh, we have incremented the page value to from 1 and uh, we are then fetching the data and while the data is being fetched we will be showing the activity indicator uh, like it's here in the code and finally uh, we need to use the flat list component to set everything that set all the methods here to work for the flat list so the things that you you have to notice here is that we have uh, used a key extractor uh, prop so the key extractor prop basically takes a unique ID because we need to specify a unique ID for every item in the list so this is important otherwise it will throw a warning yellow uh, color warning so this is very important that it it should be unique so you can uh, any field from the uh, list of data that is unique you can specify here or you can create a counter that will create a unique value for every item in the list and you can use that counter here counter value here so that's it uh, you can see uh, the flat list has all the props that will be set to all the methods that we have created ever above and then flat list will work so so <coughs> we finally learned that 
how to use the WordPress endpoint that we created in last uh, tutorial and we also learned that how to use the flat list with pagination and with refresh feature so I hope you guys have found this tutorial informative and if you do find it informative please do uh, subscribe to our newsletter and also to our YouTube channel and we'll make sure that you stay tuned to uh, such informative more of such informative tutorials so thank you guys so much and have a nice day uh, okay before going I would like to show you how this code works in action so uh, let's do that Okay, so here is our list, and if we, I go down, see uh, whenever the list reaches the end part, it is showing an activity indicator. It's showing an activity indicator, and it's fetching the data. and if we want to set reset the data like it was initially I can just uh, refresh the page I think there was there's some invalid style there's some warning for this style so it is again see it is set to like before and again if we scroll down again we will get this activity indicator because the list was refreshed again we can refresh the list okay so again it is refreshed and if we go down we will see the activity indicator so our flat list view is working perfectly and uh, uh, I would like to show you the website from which I am pulling the data it's 3arabmagazine.com so this is basically an Arabic website from which data is getting pulled and so now the data that is here is also available in the mobile app so that's it friends and uh, uh, just stay tuned for our next tutorial and uh, enjoy your day have a nice day bye bye